Okay, so for credit cards, you incur a finance charge if you don't pay off your credit card in full every month. So if you don't pay off the full balance. Um, if you pay off the full balance, you're good, you're not charged anything. But uh, this is something that can get you in trouble. So the example we're going to be looking at is in the description, so make sure you read over that before we address this, this question. Um, the first part of this is, okay, what is the finance charge in this scenario? Well, the finance charge, in general, for starters, um, is something that would occur each month, and it depends on various values. So, first of all, your APR over 12, right, this will give you a, a monthly interest rate. Again, it's not something you have to worry about if you pay everything off. So, pay everything off. But, if you don't, um, here's your monthly interest rate, and then, we take our previous balance and we say, okay, well, did we make any payments? So subtract um, any payment. So I'm just going to say PMT, any payment. Um, and right, this will be, uh, you know, in, again, we're in this scenario where you have not paid the whole thing off. So this is going to be some positive number. The previous balance, you still owe some of that. Um, but you might have also made additional charges. So. Um, we got to include those as well, meaning you may have continued using your credit card uh, while this is happening. In this particular scenario, the example that we're talking about here, uh, we have a 28% APR, so we're going to say 0.28 divided by 12. Uh, our previous balance was 1,000. We made a $600 payment, which is why we're gonna to have to pay a finance charge. We did not cover all of our balance. Uh, but we didn't make any additional charges. So we can say plus zero, or you can just leave that out. That's fine. Um, so anyway, that would be our setup, and then we can just calculate that. And we've got $9, and if we're rounding, uh, 33 cents and right? it might not seem like much but remember that that finance charge is basically money that you're just giving the credit card company because you couldn't cover all of your bills um, that gets tacked on to your new balance so your new balance in general um, it's gonna say well all right what was your previous balance and then you made a payment so that should come off of your balance. Um, but maybe you made some additional charges. So we would add those on. And then if you had a finance charge because you didn't cover all of your balance, that would get added on too. So the first three terms look just like this. Previous balance minus payment plus additional charges, and then we just say, okay, well, we picked up a finance charge after that. So the good news is a lot of these numbers we can just repeat. So the previous balance was 1,000. The payment that we made was 600. We did not have any additional charges, and then we had a finance charge of $9.33. So our new balance, or basically going into the next month, is $409 and 33 cents right so 400 of that came from balance that was carried over and then the extra 933 was our finance charge